going on YouTube, it's April 30th, coming to you live from Jersey. Gonna do a walkthrough for you guys of the food forest. This is just gonna be like a rough walkthrough, just showing you how things are growing, pointing some things out. I'll make shorter videos as the year goes on, highlighting certain things, and if there's something you guys wanna see or want me to do a video about, just let me know. Hope you enjoy. I'm inside the garden now, got all peas planted along this whole fence line here. Some other things mixed in. I'll grow the peas here and a couple weeks or so I'll come through and on the outside of the peas here I'll just pull the wood chips back and I'll plant cucumbers. They'll grow up top over the peas. By the time the cucumbers really need the light and uh, start taking over the peas will be ready and harvested. So we'll get the double yield in that one location using the same fence. Got a pear tree here. This is one of the three different grafted Asian pears. It's got a lot of pears this year. I'll thin it out and keep some of them. I don't want to overbear the tree and then uh, not get any growth this year. Hazelnuts are doing well too. This is only the, uh, the first true year that I put them in. I put them in late last year. So they don't have a lot of fruit on them or anything, but next year they should do real well producing. Here's an area I put in. Transplanted some brassicas that I grew in the greenhouse. We've got purple cauliflower on the right. Uh, broccoli, cabbage, and kale and stuff. All line going down there. A couple rows. There's a red chief nectarine that I had just put in last year. Growing some raspberries underneath it. Volunteer potatoes all here. Here, 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 there. The greenhouse on the outside. Here's a new cherry we put in. Just put it in this year. It's a uh, black tartarian. And then in front of the greenhouse here, I have the one grape there and the one grape there. So this is the south side here. We'll have the grapes growing over the south side in the summer to provide shade to keep it cooler in the greenhouse. And they're deciduous, so come winter time, they'll lose all their leaves to allow all the light in in the winter to keep it nice and warm. There's a honeycrisp apple right here, and a pomegranate right here, about to wake up. Survived all winter. Here's a new Rainier cherry. Some cherries on it. It's a small tree, just got it last year. There's a red delicious apple. Got a bunch of blooms and it. it's got some fruit and stuff on it. Should get some fruit from it. One of the ideas with getting a red delicious apple like this was uh, I wanted to get a bunch of healthy apples so I can graft onto into the future. So I'll be doing grafting next year onto this apple tree and a number of the old other ones that I have. Here's a Bella Georgia peach, I think it's. It is. It's got a bunch of fruit on it. We'll see if we could uh, harvest some this year. There's a moon glow pear. This one's got a bunch of fruit as well. We should get a decent amount of pears from this one. Looking healthy. There's a few beds we just planted. I planted them too early, so some of the stuff didn't do as well as it should, but I'm going to have to go through and replant a couple of them. Here's a spinach that's done well cilantro and a bed of red oak leaf lettuce with other lettuce mixed in. There's a new Liberty apple tree we just put in. There's a kefir pear in the back there. There's a new another new tree we put in a cherry tree. It is a gold cherry. Then this is a summer salish peach looking beautiful and there's a raspberry patch we had put in about a year or two ago now just taking over delicious ever bearing raspberries there's an apricot and there's another apricot there's a Mount Morenti cherry loaded with fruit this year and here's a golden delicious apple also loaded with fruit and there's a Bing cherry looking beautiful has some fruit on it but my problem was I didn't have enough uh, sweet cherries to pollinate it, so next year I should get a good harvest from it though. It's more raspberries. And you can see there's a bunch of just potatoes that are uh, just growing on their own. I just, they're volunteers, I guess I just left them in the ground. There's another apple, another of the delicious varieties. I think it's Golden Delicious again. Yeah. New apple tree I just put in Mott's Pink. 
apple doing well. Another apricot in the back. And I've got some grapes on the back there. I just planted a gold currant. This year right here. I'm trying a bunch of different things. Uh, here's a buffalo berry. There's a new one I just put in. Right there. And then here's another and new grapevine. There's another section I planted uh, some brassicas that I grew in the greenhouse. Scarlet kale. There's a borage I put in. Cabbages. There's broccoli right there. Looking good. It's a Burbank plum. I haven't had too much luck with the plums, but I'm gonna give them another shot. See what happens. Another peach tree. It's got a number of the peaches on it. See them on, they're popping out underneath here. Look at this, more lettuce beds. And chocolate mint is taking over back here. I love the chocolate mint. Another apple tree. With plenty of apples. Take these off. Then more spinach. Grapes are waking up. Strawberries are loaded this year. Strawberry patch is looking beautiful. And the blackberries, those are loaded too. There's a thornless blackberry. More grapes. Another peach tree behind me. Oregano. More brassicas I put in. Here's that Concord grape I built the arbor for. Just a lot of stuff. More asparagus. And this is just, it's not even May yet. Yarrow. Now, this is just something really cool. Here's an apple tree from seed. I think it's a third or fourth year. Look how big it's grown. And check this out. Apples. Apples on an apple tree from seed after a few years. I can't wait to see what they're going to be like. Excited about that. More grapes. Still waking up. More raspberries and more grapes. Sage coming back, lemon balm, another lemon balm. Rhubarb, all cilantro, self-seeded. All in here is cilantro, just self-seeded. Some asparagus. There's a fat one, huh? More asparagus over here. I got more asparagus off the f over the fence over there. So things are doing real well. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at things. Here's one of the four grafted apple trees. Just completely loaded with apples. Hopefully we should get a good uh, apple harvest this year. And a good harvest in general. Just wanted to show you guys what things look like in the early spring. And I'll continue to bring you guys along to show how things look. Now here's another small food forest I put in last year. The neighbor just took their fence down over there. And uh, show you some of the stuff we got in here. Put all the new strawberries in. See them. New apple tree right there. That's an Al Almada red apple. This, this uh, fruit forest is specializing in... Oh, look how dark the leaves are. Beautiful. This fruit forest is specializing in berry production. So blueberries everywhere. Here's a Macintosh apple. These are the tr ap uh, apples that I took out of the pots and basically bare rooted and pruned heavily. Here's a service berry, blueberry, blueberry, another blueberry, another Macintosh apple, blueberry under here, another blueberry. Inamaki red gooseberry, another variety of blueberries, that's the emerald, here's a wine sap apple, blueberry, blueberry, 
There's a Shinseki pear. There's a jewel gooseberry. Another kind of blueberry. This one's the emerald. Here's a climax blueberry. Not doing so hot, but here's the Pixwell gooseberry. Another blueberry. This is the misty. Got some blueberries on it already. Elderberry. Right there's the goji berry. Black cap raspberry. And then hardy kiwis. Two females, one male. Another grape. Another moon glow pear. And there's the food forest right through there. Another blueberry over there. And then this is the food forest. Looking straight through. The main food forest. Planted all uh, brassicas. I had transplanted all out there. 70 or so. And there's a pear tree. So everything's doing real well so far. And there's the greenhouse right there. Hidden behind the shed. On the other side of the house under here I've got a uh, 50 strawberries, I just put in new plants. 25, sorry. Jujube, two jujube trees. Then uh, closer to the back over here, I've got peas growing all here. Moon glow pear, Gravenstein apple, and then a Santa Rosa plum. So just trying to use all the space we have. Return